Welcome to Honest K-Pop Reactions. My name is Steven. And I'm Josh. And today we are together once again, granted through the so magic much. of Skype. He is not next to me. I cannot touch Josh right now, sadly. Uh, uh, but it's been a really long time. Josh is feeling sick. Yeah, I'm not feeling too hot. But, you know, we're here. We're together. We're going to do this reaction for you. Uh, it's been a while since we put out any content. So let's get to it, you know? Yeah, so Four Minute, of course, one of the biggest groups in K-pop right now, um, released their brand new uh, music video. Of course, their like pre-release or whatever the hell K-pop sites want to call it track yeah. called Rain uh, was released, uh, well, like two weeks ago, I think. Or yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, apparently, this is like their their single, like their main single on the album, but the other one was like. I feel like a lot of funsy single. Yeah, I feel like a lot of like K-popers are doing that nowadays. Like, um, uh, Tay T So did that uh, with their album. Like, they released the song from the album that wasn't even one of their main singles. Yeah, it's weird to me. I, it 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 makes more sense. Like, that's something like only popular groups can do, right? Like, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You usually lead with your 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 banging single. You don't really yeah. lead with the boring ballad single. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm sure some people like that song. It wasn't really, uh, definitely kind of cold rain in my face for that song. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, it's, it's, it's turning a little podcasty. If this is your first time to honest K-pop reactions. Maybe you Googled us. Mm -hmm. If you're just a huge fan of four minute and you want to hear two guys fanboy about Hyona, how hot she is and all those other girls, mm -hmm. this is not the reaction for you. Um, yeah. We are honest not. because we say what we feel. If we don't like something, we don't like it. If we like something, we like it. Uh, we are just here to, to, you're just here to experience our actual emotions, not the made up ones that a lot of other reactors go with. And granted, just because we say something like bad or kind of like critical of the song and or group, doesn't mean uh, that we don't like them or we don't like any music that we've heard from them. It's yeah. just like, we just don't like that that Damn. we're commenting on, yeah. So. yeah. Some some of our like most vitriol statements are towards groups that we like the most. You know, yeah, it's because we're disappointed and yeah. and we're hoping for more. So uh, I've heard a lot of crazy things about this song, which yeah. is aptly titled, of course, "Crazy." Um. So yeah, let's get to it. Four minutes. Did you like that semi segue there? Yeah, I saw that, was, that pun. That was that pretty pun. good. It's terrible. <laughs> All right, thanks very much. Uh, let's Ooh. see if this song is terrible or not terrible. Uh, here we go. Four minute. Let's do this. I I do have to say I really really hate the comeback of bucket hats. These are like the most more buckety than normal bucket hats. <laughs> but I do have to say like. Um, Steve and I always are happy when there's like a new group that have like some way to tell their names and such. True. And that was a good way. Put it on the hat. Yeah. But it looks like um, Formant's going the uh, monochrome video style. They just, they have already hit like three stereotypes in a row, which is close up to the butt dance, yeah. this faux hip hop fashion that's all the rage now. And yeah, really hats. not. I mean, I guess I'm a hypocrite, but I'm not a big fan of like this really. I guess you would say like avant garde hip hop. Like, I, I can understand its fashion. And, oh, actually, that was nice. A little touch of color? Yeah, when you have like something that's monochrome and then you have something that sticks out, that was nice. Um. Oh, this is this is a nice effect. I do like this effect. I do have to say though, like um, out of like all the crazy, I guess, outfits that they could be wearing, these ones aren't like really that crazy. Yeah. Like actually, I prefer like these outfits to like a lot of other outfits. You know. Oh God. I'm not a fan Corn of rolls. <laughs> no. Oh but, my but, glaven but really, of holy hell. But, but I do like that effect that they just pulled out there with the whole like the stop time break. thing. Yeah. I'm really not digging no. the like the oily two bangs, you know. Yeah, the like <laughs> oh, no, 70s that's like that's not it. I don't even 
Anything I say is, might be racist, but that's, that's not just, it. Yeah, just stop right it. there, Steve. I'm just gonna stop you while you're ahead, Steven. I like this part, though. It's not bad. A lot of comparisons, I may say, save till later. But. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's another song in a song. Just got a uh, undercut shot there. Show you some of the goods. Like, yeah, Mom, I was in a four minute video. Who are you? The goods. I was the ass. I was the ass in the camera. That's I was the I was, cleavage. Um, didn't you see me wearing my bucket hat that's a G U not it? Oh, I was talking about the backup dancer. Oh, I was the I was a second ass to the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Mom, that's me. I trained for years. All right, well, that was four minute with crazy. Uh, yeah, I do want to start by saying it's been a long time since I've done a reaction with Josh. Yeah, that's um, right. and, it, and it is much harder to, you know, focus on the song when you're doing it with somebody else, especially yeah. we're in different rooms and, and, and the way we record. Um, but uh, I want to start with, I guess, the positives, you know, because if you lasted this long, maybe you want to talk about the positives. What, what did you think was positive? About that um, music video. So about the song, I think it had a, a decent amount of catchiness to it. Um, there were some parts where I was just kind of like, it's kind of bogging my head a little bit. Like, oh, this isn't this is a bad. This is a good beat and, and such. Um, I also did like a few of like the directing shots they had. Like, it was a monochrome kind of video, but they added like splashes of colors. But just like one thing, like hair or socks, you know, I thought that was good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but overall, not not terrible i don't want to say it's terrible but um not i don't think it's something catchy enough for me to listen to like right away like i'm just gonna go download it and like listen to it right away you know yeah no i uh i can agree i i think i mean i don't know i was reading stuff on reddit mm -hmm. and some oh. other sites and oh. people were saying like oh my god this music video is amazing so much it's this is so different than what four minute usually does and and it is different to what Four Minute has been doing. Of course, sure. it's not a Brave Sound song. Yeah, uh, their last couple of music videos have all been kind of really colorful, really, really yeah. kind of bubbly kind of thing. And this is kind of going back, or kind of, I guess, I don't even want to say Four Minute as a group really ever did this, yeah. but this is more of like taking the older school Hyona feel and kind of mm, like change. Yeah, of. yeah. 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 So now they're actually a proper age, and and sexiness <laughs> is back, right? It's, that's right, that's right. It's the trend now. Sexiness like, is the trend. And, and I kept I kept reading. Oh my god! Like for a minute, they're like maturing. They're doing. I'm like, they're kind of just doing all the generic trends that everybody else is doing. They have like a more hip hop beat. Mm -hmm. They have a uh, this. They're wearing the most generic. I mean, we both live in Korea. Yeah. This is like the style that all the twenty somethings are all wearing nowadays. Yeah. You see this on the street all the time. It, it's so generic here, anyways. Uh, maybe not in in hip hop. I mean, sorry, maybe not in K pop, but you've been seeing all the guy bands wear attempting to wear this style for yeah. for a year now. Yeah. Um, I mean, I thought they they're they're sexy, of course. Whenever we're like we don't like the style, it doesn't mean they're not sexy. Like mm. there were some really, uh, I think nice shots of them there wasn't that much cutting which was great yeah um i mean the monochrome like it, it's nice i guess i, I yeah. guess i prefer if they kind of started like that and then maybe slowly gain color throughout the thing i, I think that would have been a lot cooler nice than, as well yeah then because uh, in the end i thought it was a little boring um because we're, I really like Digi Petty music videos, and and what are Digi Petty music videos? They're just, just pastels everywhere. Pastels, but they're not like crazy in your face. They're they're usually kind of staged really well. Um, uh, I think one problem four minute videos in the past have always been it's just like colors everywhere and like slow motion and things and and I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted mean, to start with positive things, and it yeah. kind of ended negative. Yeah, I, I do have to say four minute um, in this video they weren't as like. They didn't really necessarily follow like the sexy, sexy trend. Like the dance didn't really have too provocative of moves, which I actually, I actually liked. I liked the the choreography they were doing, like with the whole mm. this part. I thought that was that was a really nice touch. Um, 
and besides the whole like just backup dancers just having just bending over and, and shaking their butts in your face, I thought it was uh, not as sexualized as uh, the trend of K-pop has been lately. True. So that's good. True. No, that's definitely. Yeah. It's not like an AOA. You know, it's not even a stellar, right? We're yeah, not, it's, it's not definitely like not AOA, that. Anything, but it's not even in an AOA. Yeah. Um, but and it is more of a kind of, I guess I could say mature, sexy. You know, yeah, yeah, so it's a lot more confident. That. It's yeah. not crazy amounts of choreography. Yeah, uh, chore- choreographed sexiness. So yeah. I-, I can get and it, it that. And it's not, and it's not like Hiena sexiness where she's kind of just like squeezing her boobs together or showing her legs or her cleavage. You know. Yeah. So I guess it's mature in that sense. Um, yeah, but but I, we might disagree because I, yeah. uh, you know, I, uh, Hiena's Red is one of my favorite songs of, of last true. year. Yeah. And I thought that music video was such a great blend of fun, simplicity, and sexiness. Yeah. Um. And, and I really enjoyed that. And I thought that this was like a not good version of, of Fiona's Red, where yeah. it was like I, I really liked her dance in it. Like it was, it w- wasn't even that sexualized. She just looked great doing it. Uh-huh. It had stark colors, of course, with the red. Uh. Uh. But it also kind of just had it also had this like kind of thuggy dance yeah. beat, you know, a little bit hip hop ish kind yeah. of feel. Um, but in this one, I just thought it was a little the the video was was a little was a little boring. Like it wasn't fun. Um, yeah, it didn't really like if it was going to be like a, a dance video, I would have preferred more dancing in it. It was just kind of like uh, just kind of a lot of cuts to. Um, what I like to call like magazine cuts. Yeah. It's where it's just like a magazine um, making of video. You know, it's like pictures that you see in a magazine, but it's a video form. Yeah, like, like, that's what I can see. Like especially the black and white and kind uh, of. Uh, um, yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I I didn't want to make the reference at the beginning, but now that we're at the end, and people are probably turned off by now, but like there was just a lot of like. I wish I was, I don't want to say wish I was YG, but there was a lot of like YG, YG I- inspired stuff in this, um, where it was like, you know, YG is very heavily inspired by nineties, early two thousands hip hop, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. especially with CL stuff and, and G dragons, you know, stuff. And there was a lot of that here, especially the outfits. I thought, um, I thought a lot of just the way it was shot was very nineties. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I was just like, Honestly, yeah. If I didn't know any better, I would I would have thought it was YG like produced as well. Yeah. All right. Well, at least I'm not crazy on that. You're on not that crazy, part. Steven. Not for this time. Yeah. Um. And, and which is crazy because you know my number one song of last year was a four minute song, it was. and of course it's Brave Sound. A lot of people hate Brave Sound, but um, as generic as Brave Sound is, sometimes like this is also generic in its own way. So I I just don't. Yeah. Just, I mean if if people make um a type of music that you like or a style of music that you like then you know yeah. you like them what can you say nothing but i, I do want to listen to it again of course with like yeah. actual on max volume because when we record that I, I can't do that because red yeah. did really grow on me a lot yeah um it does make a difference yeah yeah uh this song it definitely i don't want to like Dismiss never hear it, it again yeah, yeah like Cold Rain, I just will never, I'm never going to listen to that song again. Never in my life. Um, but this song, I'll probably, you know, listen to it. We'll, we'll talk more in depth, pro- depth during our podcast, which we shall record tomorrow, I hope. Tomorrow, yeah. Um, but yeah, until then, we wanted to give you guys a, a heads up on, I guess, this. Cool? You good? Cool. I'm good. All right, we'll, we'll talk more later. But thank you, of course, for watching. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's just probably 20 minutes long. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we miss talking about K-pop sometimes, you know? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> but January has been a, a little bit dry. land-ass month. And dry. we're looking forward to, I guess, for a minute being like, bam, February. <laughs> Crazy. All right, Josh, go get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.